What's going on everybody? It's your boy Justin Norm. Hope you're feeling well wherever you are in the world. Today we're going to focus on recording vocals in Cakewalk by BandLab. This is for the true beginner because there are some problems that we have when recording vocals. And that's one recognizing how we should go about recording the vocals using the interface, whether we should do mono or stereo. And we want to focus on that mono and stereo thing because it's very important that we record a certain way. Stay tuned for the rest of the video so you know what I mean. Let's go. All right, we have everything set up and we are good to go. I'm gonna press apply again, press close, and now I'm back into it. To create an audio track, shortcut, control T, all right? Or you can just go up to insert audio track at the top, or you can right click, insert audio track. Which way should we record? Should we record mono or stereo? Now, to answer that question, think about your voice. Is your voice a stereo instrument? And what I mean is, is there a left and right side to your voice? No, there is not. There is only one side to your voice. But if you're having confusion on which way you should record or you're wondering why your sound is only on one side, here's why. So I'm gonna create an audio track. I've got it set up. I'm gonna go down to input and I'm going to set it to 12, all right? because I'm coming out of my mixer in channel 12, all right? Now I'm gonna create another audio track. I'm gonna set this one to 11 and 12, all right? Stereo track, all right? We can see the stereo track here. We will know it's got two ways versus the mono track. Here are the difference. Let me record. Let me record the mono track first. Now let's record the stereo track first. Here we go. And you can already notice that my signal is only coming on one side. So let me record it. <clears throat> I don't know what to do when the stereo track is only on one side. It's only on one side. All right, I'm being a little goofy, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a goofy moment. All right, let me put my headphones real quick so I can hear it and you can hear it. I don't know what to do when the stereo track is only on one side. It's only on one side. All right, and you can notice that it's only on one side. I do not want it on one side. I want it on both sides. Let me mute that track. Let's record on the, the mono track. I don't want no tracks that's on stereo. I only want them on mono, mono, oh yeah. All right, goofy again. I don't want no tracks that's on stereo. I only want them on mono, mono, oh yeah. All right, okay, cool. So I got those two tracks. You get the idea, right? So if you're gonna do this, make sure that it's set to the input of a mono track. Now, why did I set it to 12? Well, because my mixer, it only goes in channel 12 for this particular microphone. Now I can switch this microphone cable or XLR cable to whatever channel I want it to be in, but it has to be wherever that signal is coming from. Now, the cool thing about digital mixers is that I can actually route channel 12 to something different. Even though it's plugged input wise into 12, I can route the output of my mixer to channel one if I wanted to. I'm not gonna go into that because it's another story, but if you want to have the X18 or if you have any digital mixer, you can do that type of stuff. But for now, I want to keep it on 12. So be careful that you don't have a set on stereo. When do you want to use stereo? Well, you want to use stereo on an instrument that supports stereo outputs. So for instance, like this keyboard that I have that I, you normally see in my videos, it is a mono instrument. It does not have a left and right output, but my Roland SPD-20 is stereo. Most piano instruments will be stereo as well. So, but vocals, we cannot record stereo. Why? Because think about it. There's only one cable coming out of the microphone. If there's only one cable coming out of the microphone, then it means it's a mono instrument or it's a mono device. All right, so keep that in mind. That will really help you with recording. 